What's up guys and welcome back to my Let's Play series for Marvel Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. In this episode we are going to be taking on a main mission which is titled Step Into My Parlor. Continuing her investigation on GR27 and its cure, MJ breaks into Norman Osborn's apartment hoping to find some more information on the whereabouts of Dr. Morgan Michaels. Hope you enjoy and please remember to like and subscribe. Alright Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. And that person would be MJ, who I'm hoping is going to call us any minute now, or anyone really, because we need another mission. lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Alrighty, it looks like we are going to be playing as MJ once again in this episode. There's so many people trying to shoot us in this city now, it's annoying. Okay, we're here. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Getting people triggered in this day and age is pretty much a walk in the park. We'll start off right here. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. A health emergency, eh? That sounds like a good reason to let someone back up. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency Ugh. here. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs! Why isn't Osborn down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now! Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. This dude has a good point. The demons could have easily planted a bomb here. They're not above doing that. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Okay. You know what, I'm kind of surprised MJ doesn't have one of these to begin with. Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. <laughs> I like this thing. Man, I wish we had a stun gun at the beginning of the game. That would have made things a lot easier for MJ. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. 
I'm not sure how stun guns work, but I'm pretty sure that when you shock someone that they can get up again pretty quick. So I'm not sure how long those guards are going to stay down for, and if they're going to alert anyone to our presence. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Could really use a coffee. Stupid useless button. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Oh, I have no doubt that there is some dirt hidden up here somewhere, but the real issue is finding it. This penthouse is absolutely ginormous, and the information could be hidden anywhere. I think we'll start off by looking at this. The schematic? Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. So is this a precursor to a potential Green Goblin suit? It looks pretty cool. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Based on the structural weakness and the schematic, we pretty much know that there's a hidden room back there, but how do we access it? That's the real question. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. I have to agree with MJ on this one. You pretty much can't get more cliche than that. So each question that we have so far just leads to another question. When is it going to end? Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. The one thing I never understood in this game is why does Norman Osborn hate Spider-Man so much? There's nothing really to explain that relationship. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. For a person as organized as Norman Osborn, I think it's a little silly how the game would just leave out all the stuff saying, hey, I have a secret room. It kind of defeats the purpose of having it in the first place. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? I would bet money that Norman Osborn killed the people who built that secret room just as a way to cut loose ends, but he still forgot that damn invoice. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> Uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. God, 
Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Yet yeah, grass is always greener on the other side, isn't it? What do we have here? I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I remember the first time that I played this game, it took me ages to find the key because... I'll show you why. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. I'm pretty sure the key is back this way, but we have a few more things to look at first. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Seems like Norman is getting a little bit too overconfident, but I'm confident that he'll be behind bars before he can become president. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? There's probably a combination of money and creative differences. That's usually the case when two friends end up running a business together. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. And this is where you find the key, right on the back. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. I was looking for that key for over 15 minutes last time, and I had that picture too in my hands at least twice. I just forgot to flip it over. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Look at that view. You have to pay an extra million just to get a glimpse of that prison from your window. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today. Huh. Not sure how this is gonna go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's just Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them, please. Thanks, Dad. Love ya. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing Mom had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because... Well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react. I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with mom, watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got bad recently. All the times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy, not partying, not busy, sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment, experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname that techs have for it, Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here. Time to go. I like the fact that there's always a method to someone's madness in this game, at least for the upper echelon villains. After reading that, we can definitely sympathize with the motive behind Norman Osborn. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here! The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. 
Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Alrighty, this guy definitely has to go to sleep first. This hallway actually kind of scares me because it's wide open and there aren't really too many places to hide. Stay alert. I think we got company. This guy should be prone for the shock now. Let's see how many guys there are here. At least two. Three. And maybe a fourth behind this wall near the desk. At this point, I'm pretty much just going to take the gamble. Huh? Who's there? This is our opportunity. Oh man, we are safe. In a straight shot off to the secret room now. Oof, that was intense. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? I really hope in the future for this series that the Green Goblin does make an appearance because that would be so cool. Watch your sixes, man. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. What we're actually supposed to be doing in here is going to that center console, but there should be a few more things that we can interact with in this room. Like this. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. I think that's it for optional things we can interact with in this room. It's time to check out the center console. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Five by five control. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27, that's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> Chicka, what you 
created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. I think I got a little overzealous there on that shock, but it actually worked out in my favor. Not sure if that's the right way or not, but we're just going to chill here for a couple seconds and see what happens. As long as we lure this guy and make him face a certain direction for about five seconds, we should be good. Might have something control. Stand by. Now we just got to run. Eyes open. We know he's here. I'm pretty sure that this garden out here connects directly to Norman's bedroom. There's no one out here either. It's going to be real easy, because I know exactly where we need to go to. Obviously these checkpoints would be pretty helpful if you were playing this game blind, but in my case, I know exactly where we need to go, and we need to get scooped up by Spider-Man on the balcony. Okay, sweet. This guy needs to get distracted. What was that? Perfect, let's go ahead and shock him. Only 38 meters to go now. We're pretty much done here, and I don't think there's anyone else left in our way besides this guy right out here on the balcony, who doesn't seem to be moving either. We need to clear that balcony. I sure could use a coffee. Hey! Boss, we got her. Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You are crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> 